Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sarah Starr, and I'm at the Goodwill. Yes, I went to the Goodwill today, and um, I want to take you on a little tour of what I, I saw tonight at the Goodwill. And this Santa was super cute. I love Christmas de decorations. I just can't get enough of that Christmas. I love Christmas, Christmas so much. Um, but I thought he was a little bit high priced for the, the Goodwill, so I passed on him. This desk really had great bones to it. I loved it. It was so beautiful. But I wanted to, I think it needs like a different, um, like it needs a coat of paint or something to freshen it up. I saw this dress. I thought this was really cute. I didn't get a chance to try it on, so I didn't buy it. But um, it was very, very cute. Made by Lane Bryant. Oh my gosh, it was really cute. And now that I'm looking at it um, on video, I should have bought it. It was $7.99. Um, now we're in the decor aisle, which is my favorite, very, very favorite department in the store. This is like usually one of the first places I go to when I go to the Goodwill is to the uh, frame aisle. Um, this caught my attention. That's a famous print. Uh, I can't think of the name of it, but um, I, I know it's a famous pr picture. Uh, uh, oil painting and um, I was just checking out all the frames there wasn't much new here from when I was here about a week ago and um, so I, I was a little disappointed I was hoping to find something brand new but um, that was a new piece I hadn't seen from the trip before being there but this was I think overpriced for Goodwill six dollars and 49 cents I feel like some of the stuff at Goodwill has been you know is way is overpriced and uh, you know um, so I'm, I'm just careful with that, like not to buy something that's overpriced um, for, you know, being at Goodwill. So um, I like to shop on Sundays when it's additional 50% off because that's when, you know, you can try to find stickers that correspond with the color that's on sale. Um, this print really spoke to me. It was so tranquil. It like made me feel so at peace and calm looking at it. Uh, but it was like falling out of the frame and my I have a beach themed bathroom uh, But I already have a pictures up. I have a lot of beach themed things in my bathroom So there was no space for anything else But and it had a little ding in there I don't know if you guys can catch it in this video, but the canvas had a little bit of a pock mark So I was like, oh, I think I'll pass on it, but it was so pretty It just so, the blues were just so beautiful in this I was looking at, I was noting the author or, or the um, artist on that, and I want to look up that artist to see if, what other paintings they've done. Um, so yeah, and then I'm just checking out the rest of the stuff down this aisle, and like I said, not much new inventory from my last visit. Um, this glitter thing caught my attention. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. I love that background. Save water, drink champagne, cute little fun sign. And then I saw this picture of this person on a rock. It's like very, uh, it strikes a mood, you know. It's very like, I don't know what the word is, but um, I thought it was very cool. Uh, but the frame was so outdated, so it's something that I would have to update if I were to buy that. This um, caught my attention, the cats, because you guys know I love cats. And so it was $2.46 for that bag. But I realized as I was shopping that it's salt and pepper shakers. And um, I I love salt and pepper shakers that are characters and stuff like that. But at Goodwill, I find that if it's like those kind of things, it's hard to clean them. And I, you know, to put my own salt and pepper in it. So I pass on those. As cute as they were, I passed on them. Because like I said, I wouldn't use them for their, you know, purpose of salt and pepper shakers. Because I feel like you can't clean them the way I want to clean them. Um, when they're used so I prefer to buy those brand new even though they have some really cute you know antique salt and pepper shakers okay now we're down the Christmas aisle I was just checking to see if they have anything new or exciting that I had to have and um, those bunnies were so cute um, 249 but I'm like oh I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait because I want to see if Michaels comes out with those grab bags you know, where I can get a lot of stuff for $4 and, you know, the grab bags that Michaels does. So I'm kind of going to wait, but those are beautiful bunnies. I thought they were so gorgeous. They're $2.46 only a piece. Um, so I was thinking about it, but I decided I should just wait because that would be $5 for them if I went ahead with getting them tonight. So, yeah, I'm, I was just going to wait on that. And... Um, this was really cute. This like it was like a cardboard uh, Christmas house. It was really cute. 
And just a couple other things that they had down this aisle. Um, I wanted to show you guys the Coca-Cola bear and some Christmas mugs, this bunny. I just love bunnies. I just think they're so darling. This guy holding like up a cabbage or something, he was $3.49. I think a bit overpriced again for Goodwill. So I, I was going to wait on that. Lots of mugs, lots of um, glassware. And over here, this caught my attention, those divider plates. But they, they didn't look in the best condition. Um, so this thing was like, I was like, oh my gosh, I found it. I have been looking for an iPad holder before, like during Christmas time. And I can't believe I stumbled upon it here at the Goodwill. Um, and I was trying to figure out what is this? Is this a candle holder? I had no idea, but thought that was an interesting piece. And these are some more fun knickknacks, beautiful pieces, lots to look at. And um, this this color, um, I'll go back to it in a second. This color jar caught my attention. Oh, okay, so we're going over here. That's right. So I wanted to show you this necklace. It's like so blingy, so beautiful, so like my style i love rhinestones and bling like this i love vintage looking pieces i was like oh my gosh i love that so i tried it on and um it was like six dollars and 49 cents and um but the chain was really really rusted not rusted but tarnished i should say so here i am i'm trying it on i want to show you guys how it looked on i really wanted to buy it you guys but it was six dollars and 49 cents which is a fair price but the chain was just so tarnished, I just couldn't do it. Um, so these were these beautiful um, like chalk painted mason jars. I thought they were great, beautiful colors. And now we're going to uh, go to my studio to do the haul of what I want to show you what I bought. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sarah Starr, and I hope that you enjoyed the little video uh, beforehand of me at the thrift store to our Goodwill tonight. Uh, so I just wanted to show you a little bit of what my Goodwill looked like tonight. And so um, the necklace I didn't get. Um, if I don't know if that's going to be included in this video, but I did try a necklace on there. And um, I did videotape what it was looked like on. But um, I almost got it. But then when I went to the register, you know, I looked at the chain and it was really pretty rusted. Not rusted, but, you know, uh, tarnished, I guess that's the word. So it was like... I was just too tarnished for me. So I love the rhinestones. Like I love rhinestones. You guys know that I always talk about that. But I just, the the chain, I just couldn't get around that chain being so tarnished. So I, I passed on that. So, but I wanted to include it in the video. And, and um, if it doesn't show up in this, I'm sorry, because I'm going to add the video after I talk here. Uh, but um, I did try on this beautiful necklace if, if it's not in the video. But anyway, all right. So I'll go ahead and get started with my Goodwill haul. So as you can see, I've got something sticking out of the bag and you know I have been looking for something like this um, around Christmas time they had them uh, not this one but like they had Shopkins ones and everything like that that Target was selling and they were around 20 ish dollars 15 20 dollars I found this tonight at the Goodwill you guys so I paid only and I just want you guys to see how precious he is and he's still got the tag on it so I paid 99 cents for him isn't that so amazing so i was so excited to find it and oh my gosh those eyes they make these eyes on these animals just so sweet just so sweet so um it has a little blue tail and it it's um so it's a beanie uh, it's a thai peekaboos and it's um let's see oh it just talks about you know the little things it talks about inside but so it, it's it holds your um your iPad so they can like you know um, have it like next to them in bed and look at their iPads you know and it's really nice it holds it up and it's super cute and sweet so I thought that was so cute I need one for me I need one for me like so for 99 cents I'm gonna throw him in the wash machine clean him up and then my kids can have this so I thought super cute and a great great deal for 99 cents I was like that was the highlight of my uh, trip today was probably this guy because 99 cents just it's amazing absolutely amazing deal so it's just so cute so so cute all right the next thing i got was and i spent a total of i think seven dollars and 68 here's the here's the receipt i spent 
$7.64 for everything I'm about to show you, for everything. So the next thing I got was this book, and I don't really need books, but I had to get this one. It is um, my first Treasury Bedtime Hugs, and it's just like a, uh, it's full of fairy tale stories. So, um, and this was published in, when was this? 2001. So it's not like an old, old book. It's what, 18 years old? Well, I guess that is pretty old, right? Um, but it has like every story, like fairy tale story that you, like, you know, that we've read. Like, um, it has the ugly duckling story. It has Goldilocks and the three bears. So everything is like in this book, like everything that like I grew up reading and knowing about. Um, I think it's great. Everything's just all combined in one book. This is The Princess and the Pea. And so $1.99 is all I paid for this book. And so I just had to get it because it has the Velveteen Rabbit in there. And just, you know, everything's all combined in this book. And it was $1.99. Again, this is the cover. So I was really excited about that, $1.99. Then I picked up this shirt for my daughter. This is... Um, this I thought was so cute. You know the Nerds Candy? This has never been worn before. It still has a tag. It says, oh, it was bought in Disneyland. Look at that. It has the Disneyland Disneyland tag. I didn't even notice that till now, the Disneyland tag. But it has the little Disney, I mean, I think it must have been bought. Yes, yeah, this is Disneyland Resort. So it says, it has the, um, you know, now that I'm thinking about this, this might fit me instead of my daughter. It's an extra large. I think this is an adult extra large. I think, yeah, I think this is for me. <laughs> I got it for my daughter, but I think it's too big. I think it's an adult extra large. So I can wear this. Isn't that so cute? And it was only $2.99. So $2.99. And it's, you know, of course, the it's like a vintage looking... Um, eight, it looks like 80s shirt, but it says, I love nerds, and they have like the grape nerds, and I think those are strawberry, right? I can't remember. Is it, It's been a while since I've had nerds because, like I, I mentioned before, I don't eat hard candy anymore. Um, so um, I don't know if that's, is it strawberry or raspberry? I can't remember what the flavor is. Anyway, but look at you guys. Isn't that so cute? So I'm going to like wear this. I think I'm going to wear this. I think it'll be too big for my daughter. Anyway, it's made by junk food. And again, it'll be a shirt for me, I guess, because it'll be too big for my daughter. I thought I got it for my daughter, but it's just going to be too big on her. So anyway, I'll back up so you can see see it better on me. So, And if it doesn't, if it works for her, then she can have it. But I think it'll be too big on her. Uh, by the way, um, if, I, if you guys noticed, I'm wearing my shirt that I bought at Steinmart yesterday. Um, I paid, what was it? Uh, I think this one was either 6 dollars and 50 something cents or four dollars and some change I can't remember which one was which but this was I think this was definitely less than seven dollars isn't it so cute I love the ruffle sleeves so I wore this tonight I just love it okay the next thing I got was these I thought these would be really cute in my um, decor right here or anywhere around my house it has a little bit of like glue showing through, but I think that's okay because mostly the sparkles show. These were only 49 cents uh, for these jars. I just love that mint green color. I just think it's so pretty. I mean, they're not the most quality made items. I mean, obviously somebody made them at home, but I still think they're really pretty if you put flowers in them that just make a great vase just to kind of have around the house for extra vases. And so I bought two. This one's like the... Um, the bigger version and I just think they're really cute I just like the little accents of diamonds around the top or rhinestones and because uh, remember guys I said I love my rhinestones so I'm really naturally attracted to anything with rhinestones on it I'm like ah, I gotta have that you know so anyway I thought this would be really cute like I said behind me or like in a bathroom with flow fresh flowers in it or I'm not sure if it's showing up again um, so yeah I just anyway let's see I'll kind of give you an idea again with this for an idea of how it looks so it kind of shows yeah so anyway 49 cents for each so anyway then I picked up I wonder if this shirt shows the original price of this shirt 
Oh, sorry. This was originally $28 bought brand new. I forgot to mention that. $28 and I paid $2.99. Okay. Then um, I got this, you guys. Now, this picture, and I should have researched before I did this video, but I have I know this picture is famous, and I forget what it's called. I've seen it over and over again, and I just love it. It is the picture of, does it actually show? Somebody actually taped it in there. Let me first show you how it appears in the frame, and it's also probably in my video too. I think I got this recorded in my video, but it's a simple frame. I mean, the frame is not like amazing, the frame, but I love the picture, and that's why I bought this. It was only 69 cents. Oops. But it has that famous picture in it. I can't remember the name of that picture or that portrait. I forget what. It's like an oil painting, but not this, but it, you know, originally an oil painting. I hope that the camera is picking it up for you guys. So it was 69 cents, and I'll, I'll keep it in this frame. In fact, I mean, I can even put it in one of my little shelves here. But um, 69 cents, and it's a cute frame. Like, there's nothing wrong with it, it but it's plastic, so it's not in the most high quality. But I'm going to check this picture out really quick. I want to see if this is a, because somebody taped it. Somebody taped the picture in there. I think it's just like a postcard or whatever that they t did with this. But I want to see what they did. How did they do that? So you know what they did? Pretty smart thinking. This is, I think, from like a magazine, like an art magazine. You know how like you get, I don't know, but this is definitely like a, not a Xerox, but it feels like a magazine paper. So there is the picture. But that is the picture I love. I love that picture. So anyway, I'm going to um, put it back in the frame, and I might just transfer it to another frame. Um, but I just love the picture. So anyway, I have, I have a lot of frames around the house. And so, like I said, um, I just love that picture. I gotta find out the name of that picture. I really love it. So, anyway, 69 cents. So I think it looks cute in there. I think it looks really cute in that frame. And so anyway, then, um, so again, I paid for all this haul here. I paid was $7.64 and that includes tax. So that's a really good deal, I think. Um, I mean, this guy alone, he's worth at least $20. I'm thinking originally, at least $20. So I think I did good, and then 28 originally for this. So now the next thing I wanna show you really quick. So remember how yesterday I said I wanna go back to Steinmart today? Yesterday I said that I wanna go back tomorrow, which would be today. I went back to Steinmart and um, I found a really pretty necklace. So I wanna go ahead and show you what I found. So it's gonna be another one of those hauls where I have two things in one because it's just one item and I wanted to show you really quick what I got and um, I'm really excited about it. So they had additional 50% off certain items today that were already clearance, so additional 50% off certain red tag items. So this jewelry cost me, this one cost me $4.92 total for this necklace, and that includes tax. So I'm gonna show you, and you know, seriously guys, I love Steinmart. Like, I'm gonna go back probably tomorrow. There was this dress that I almost bought today and I didn't buy it, and now I'm wishing I bought it, so I might go back tomorrow and get it. I might. So, anyway, um, this necklace was, isn't it so pretty? Like, I'm trying to show you how it, like, dangles. Like, it's so beautiful. I tried it on at the store. Let's see. Doesn't it look so pretty and, like, well-made? It's so pretty. So, I paid... $4.92. It was originally sell selling for $14.99. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, try to show you closer up what's going on with this. Um, you guys can see. I'll hold this up against the background like so you can hopefully see it better. I don't know if you can. But you can see. Let me straighten this out here. There we go. Is that better? Okay, so you can see. I don't know if it's showing. Sorry, I'm squinting at the camera because I can't see far away. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and try it on for you. I think this is so pretty. I don't know what about it that I love so much, but I think I love that it's like so, like, I don't know. It just feels rich. It looks rich, I think. So anyway, I paid $4.92 for it from 14, from $14 and, um, I'll show you. My shirt keeps wanting to hike up. So from $14, isn't that pretty? Yeah. So 
I just like that it looks just kind of like artistic, you know? I don't know. I don't know. It's something about it. It's like very artistic looking. So, yeah. So, anyway, so this was uh, only, so only, so additional 50% off was only $4.92. I'm like, wow, that's awesome. So, like I said, I might go back tomorrow. I told you guys, Steinmart might be my new, one of my new favorite stores to go to. It's, it's like, um, yeah, I thought it was really, so, anyway, sorry I'm babbling, but I'm just trying to think, I was just thinking back, I tried on a couple tops today, today there too, and they have some really cute stuff, like really cute stuff. So anyway, that is my haul for today, and I hope you enjoyed it, um, my Goodwill and my Steinmart, and my Steinmart, Steinmart haul, sorry, and um, yeah, um, I hope that you guys are doing well, and um, thank you again for being here. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I uh, would love to have you part of my YouTube channel family and friends. And um, please leave a comment if you want, if you wish, and um, uh, select the bell button or the gray bell, push it, so that you'll know when I post my next video, which is usually every day. I try to at least every day, if not every other day for sure. So um, anyway, have a wonderful night, you guys, and this might get uploaded uh, early in the morning again at like 12 a.m., so if, if you don't see it tonight, happy Saturday to you. I think tomorrow is, um, I think tomorrow is Cinco de Mayo, I'm not sure. I think tomorrow is, but um, yeah, if you see this video tomorrow, happy Saturday to you, and um, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful and happy Saturday, and um, I wish you all well, and I will see you very, very soon with my next haul. Okay, guys, take care of yourselves, and um, I can't wait to see you guys again. Talk to you soon. Bye now.